Hello, I'm Will Barthel and I'm the Monitoring Officer for the Lincolnshire Chalk Streams project. The River Freshney is one of Lincolnshire's chalk streams, home to many wonderful plants and animals. The chalk streams are incredibly rare and most of them are found in England, stretching from Yorkshire in the north through Hampshire and down to the southwest. Starting at the A18, as Laceby Beck, the River Freshney runs through Grimsby and out into the Humber estuary. In this video, we're going to learn about what makes the River Freshney so special and have a look at some of the wonderful plants and animals that make their home along its banks. Our journey will take us along the route of the Freshney. From here at Laceby Beck, along Freshney Parkway to New Haven Terrace, Duke of York Gardens and all the way to Grimsby Town Centre. There are all sorts of things living in the Freshney, including a number of species that are key indicators of the health of the chalk streams. Invertebrates and birds live alongside water voles and otters and a magnificent brown trout. We begin our journey here at the source of the Freshney, Laceby Beck. Laceby Beck is popular with walkers and cyclists but it's equally popular with wildlife. Before we begin, there's a few things to know about chalk streams. Rainwater is stored in the chalk of Lincolnshire Wolds, which acts like a big sponge. The water filters down through gaps in the chalk and flows out as springs when it hits harder bedrock. In North East Lincolnshire, we also have blow wells, unique natural springs formed when water under pressure underground is forced up and out through cracks in the clay camp chalk. So now we know more about the chalk streams, let's see what's living in the fresh deep. Brown trout are synonymous with chalk streams. They migrate upstream to lay their eggs on the gravel bed, which is a characteristic of chalk streams. Their nest is called a red. Brown trout, like other aquatic species, only live in clean water and without it, it wouldn't have such a spectacular variety of fish. Here we are at Towns Holt. A great place to do some stream dipping. You don't need much equipment, just a pair of wellies, a net, an ID guide, in a container to put your catch in. When dipping in the stream, tread carefully and try not to slip. Even a shallow stream can have a strong flow and it's best to only dip if the level of the water is below knee height. Place a net on the bottom of the stream if you can and try to pick up as much as possible with the net. Shuffle your feet in front of the net and don't be afraid to dig deep and disturb the riverbed. You never know what might be hiding at the bottom. When you're done, be sure to clean and dry your net and equipment, especially if you're going to another stream. This helps to stop the spread of invasive species and diseases that can harm our native wildlife. So let's have a little look what we've got here in the tray. Lots of things swimming around in here. We've got some freshwater shrimp. We've got lots of different mayfly species dotted around. We've got some very interesting ones called case caddis and these ones make their own case out of whatever's at the bottom of the river and these ones made them out of little stones. Also in here we've got a little fish and we've got some leeches as well. Many creatures feed on these invertebrates so they're an essential part of the chalk stream ecosystem. Once hatched into flying insects birds and bats feed on them but in the water they're a tasty meal for fish and crayfish. But don't take my word for it, why don't you get out yourselves and try a bit of stream dipping yourself. Crossing over Little Coach Road and heading downstream for about half a mile, our walk brings us to Freshney Parkway. This part of the Freshney is home to aquatic mammals like otters and water voles. Keep an ear open for the plop of water voles commonly seen along this stretch of the Freshney as they leave their backside home and drop into the water. Water voles can be a bit tricky to see, but with a bit of patience, keeping quiet, you may catch a glimpse of them as they swim from bank to bank. 
Water voles are sometimes mistaken for rats. There are a few telltale signs. They have a much rounder face with a flatter nose than a rat, and their ears aren't as prominent. They also tend to be a little bit more plump. Shh, we're going to have to keep very quiet if we hope to see one. Look, a water vole. They really are fantastic creatures and a key part of the freshening ecosystem. Otters also live along the freshening, but are even more difficult to spot. They tend to avoid people and often come out at night. You sometimes find their footprints in the mud along the freshening. Heading over Cromwell Road, our journey takes us past West Marsh Country Park to the stretch of river along New Haven Terrace. Many species of bird use the river, so keep your eyes peeled for more hen and swans. You may even be lucky enough to see the bright blue flash of a kingfisher. Bird watching is a great activity and an easy one to get into. All you need is a good ID guide, some binoculars and a bit of patience. Moorhen often nest down this stretch of the Freshney. They're really easy to spot with their bright red bill with the yellow tip. In spring they make a bowl shaped nest out of reeds at the water's edge and usually lay about eight eggs. If you find a nest it's important not to disturb it. Everyone likes feeding the ducks but feeding them bread can be harmful to them. Healthier alternatives such as porridge oats, peas, sweet corn and bird seed are recommended. Let's continue our journey down the Freshly now and see what awaits us. Duke of York Gardens is a brilliant place for families to discover the River Freshney. Peer into the water and see if you can spot one of the many fish species such as pike or perch. You may even be lucky enough to spot an eel in the River Freshney. Once a common sight in our waterways, they are now critically endangered. The great family activity is becoming an insect detective. Take a closer look at flowers and plants growing along the river to hunt down bees, butterflies, ladybirds and mayfly species. In the river, look out for water starwort and falls watercress along the edge. You can see the blue flowers of water forget-me-not and smell the sweet aroma of water mint. Also, keep an eye out for classic chalk stream plants such as water crowfoot. Unfortunately, there are also non-native species on Lincoln's chalk streams, like butterbur and Himalayan balsam. Himalayan balsam, with its bright pink or white flowers, is easy to identify in flower in the summer months. But it can take over the banks of rivers, overshading native species and leaving the banks exposed to erosion in the winter when it dies back. Heading away from Duke of York Gardens, we follow the river into Grimsby Town Centre, where it passes Fresh New Place Shopping Centre and up towards the new bridge. And so we reach the final part of our journey along the fabulous Freshney. Here we are at the Riverhead in Grimsby Town Centre. Even here we can see wonderful wildlife like swans, kingfishers and fish. But you may also see another invasive species. Signal crayfish. Originally brought over from America, carry crayfish plague which kills our native white claw crayfish but they're not affected by the disease. There are now very few places in Lincolnshire where we have our native white clawed crayfish. The River Freshney is a beautiful habitat and even here in town it's home to wonderful wildlife. So now you know why the Freshney is so important, how can you help keep it this way? Thanks for joining me on this wildlife adventure. I'm going to leave you with a few examples of how to look after it. Bye.